So year six, week beginning the 4th of May, poem Dragon Song. Like a white cloud in springtime, he skids through the sky, whistles tunes into valleys, pushes boats with a sigh. Through the forest he scurries, catching leaves in his wings. With a rustle of treetops, the wind dragon sings. With a temper so fierce and a beauty so clear, she sways to a calling that no one can hear. Pulling treasures like gifts from some faraway shore, wild and untamed, hear the dr sea dragon's roar. With a wing full as fragile as light on the sea, she sings of frost shivers and white gilded trees. Unshaken, she soars while the wind whips and blows. Under sky splattered starlight, the moon dragon glows. His teeth hide a furnace, spewing ash and bright embers. His scales dry and charred, a face man remembers. A flicking forked tongue licks the sides of a steak. The fire dragon feasts, leaves the world in its wake. So that was the poem Dragon Song. Um, obviously, you've now got your task linked to you for this poem available on Edulink. We're looking specifically at the use of language and some of the things that the poet has chosen in terms of structuring their poem. Just one thing that I want to leave you with. I really like the use of punctuation in this poem. So when you come to writing yours next week, that's something that I really want you to focus on. I will mention that again next week as well. I've just come on. Oh. Just come back onto this one here. We've got the hyphen in there. We've got the use of commas. We've got another hyphen and then obviously semicolon there. So something to bear in mind for next week. Take care.